Keep it down, would you? This horror comedy action thriller mystery history biography movie is unlike anything I've ever seen. I'm trying to hear what is being said. You're not even saying anything, and you're being really annoying. Look, I would offer you a seat, but this is the only one here, alright? Now stop trying to unglue my eyes from the screen! Go do your rust sound somewhere else. No! That TV was the only thing that helped me cope with this madness, and now it's gone! And I have nothing left! In case you were wondering, I was watching a documentary about bioluminescence. Essentially, it's how some animals perform chemical reactions inside their bodies to emit light. Jellyfish, squids, fireflies, and even some sharks do it. My life would be a whole lot more awesome if I could witness bioluminescence firsthand. Wow, this is just what I asked for. If I had a pen and pencil, I'd write a bucket list and cross this one out, but you know how it is. I'm gonna call this one Sam. I know just the place to see if Sam will glow. Follow me. And thank you.
Something came from the outside, too. You know what? If there's stuff to check out both here and outside, I'm picking outside. I never liked the darkness anyways, and Sam isn't helping. Besides, I don't want to spend any more time than I have to with your TV hater friend. So there really is a way out, huh? Allow me to apologize for my immature behavior earlier. Before we proceed, let me point out the elephant in the room. I mean, we're not really in a room, but you know. The name's Clarence, and we're both floating in the air. You and your friend are the only semi-sentient things I've come across since I woke up a few hours ago. You know what? Standing here is doing us nothing, and you seem more like a solver than a talker. Let's go. It seems like we arrived just as a battle was starting. Even in isolation, we still wage wars. At least one side gets to live on, right? What a waste. Apples that fresh make great apple pies. Am I that terrible of a being to think of such a morbid joke in these times of misery? Just so you know, I'm not proud of what we did, but I think it was the right thing. Those fruit people were going to tear each other to shreds until neither remained. So in a sense, we actually saved an entire colony. Anyway, I took your table and your tree stump and made you a nice little bench. I figured if you ever needed a place to clear your mind, it would be your island. And if you needed a place to truly clear your mind, you would need something to sit on other than grass. So, um, yeah, I, I'll leave you to it.
I was going to have a drink from the fountain, but after glancing up, I decided not to. Add to that the fact that Sam is still being a loser and isn't shining? Anyway, the queen won't let me near that pitifully obvious mysterious lever behind her. I figured everyone has had enough fighting, so I restrained myself from having my feet do the talking. Maybe she'll let you close to it? <laughs>